So in order for a conviction, here, here is what would have to happen. The prosecution would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Trayvon Martin is dead. Obviously, Zimmerman's criminal act caused Trayvon Martin's death. And that Martin was killed by an act that was dangerous and had no regard for human life. Azar Umansky is an attorney who has defended George Zimmerman before. She joins us this morning. Nice to see you. Thanks for talking with us. Morning, I appreciate so it. Uh, tell me a little bit about your experience with George Zimmerman. You represented him back in 2005, 2006, correct? That is right, Soledad. My experience with George was that he was a young man at the time. He was very concerned about his future. He was interested in making sure that these felony criminal charges were dropped. And he was very proactive in his defense and very interested in making sure that he received the best result. And I'm sure in this case, he's going to work hard and diligently with his attorney to get the same exact result. Tell me about that particular case that you were representing him in. He had a, a dispute with law enforcement um, and uh, the charges eventually were, were, were dropped and then dismissed. And, and it's where that original uh, mug shot that people saw, I think, early on uh, when we started talking about George Zimmerman, that's where that mug shot came from. Can you tell me more about that case? That's correct, Soledad. That is that mug shot from that arrest. In that case, he was alleged to um, come to the aid of his friend who was being arrested. He was a bar employee, his friend, um, for serving underage minors. And the allegation is that George came up to see what was going on, why his friend was being arrested. And the undercover law enforcement officer actually stopped him and said, hey, um, don't go there, showed him his badge. And it's alleged that in that case, George said to the officer, I don't care who you are, F off. And that's when the officer directed him away physically and George pushed him away. Um, that is the allegation. And he was charged with battery in a law enforcement officer and resisting with violence. And the charges were eventually dismissed. Are you surprised, as uh, some folks on this panel are, that he is now facing a second degree murder charge? I am. We, as a legal community, thought that the charge may be only manslaughter.